Hey, it's Jason here at Fraser Valley Rose Farm. Well, I'm going to ask your help today on the topic of the rose cane borer, but first I want to show you the topic that led to the topic. I had some winter damage this year, and some branches on this tree broke right here and up here. And when I was looking on how to treat that, uh, I thought back to my days in horticulture school and I remembered that they told me it's no longer the practice to use pruning paint or sealant on these things. Let me show you what I mean here. I had to dig up an old can here of pruning paste. You can see on here that it says that it seals out insect and disease and aids in rapid healing. Well, that's no longer the, um, the recommendation. Actually, everything that's on that label is, is uh, not considered to be uh, a good advice anymore. I think the only people still pushing it are the people who actually make the product. It's currently thought that, uh, and all the research supports this, that leaving it uncovered or unpainted is the better recommendation. And, and that's been the case for some time. In fact, the scientific studies say that not only is there no benefit, but there's actually a risk to using a product like this in that it can trap the moisture underneath the, uh, the sealant and promote rot. So we don't use that anymore. However, and this is what leads me to Rose Cane Borer, is that I was kind of surprised to find out that on the site of the American Rose Society, they still recommend sealing your cuts on roses. And there's a reason that they do that. And let me show you what it is here. If you look at these cuttings from roses, you'll see right on the ends here, that there's a bit of a hole on all three of these. And that hole is from an insect called the rose cane borer. Now the rose cane borer, when I say that's an insect, I'm actually misspeaking. It's, uh, it's not one insect, it's a group of insects that have similar behaviors. Some of them are wasps, some of them are bees. And they find these open things. Even the mason bee looks for little cavities and things. These uh, wasps lay their eggs on the ends of these stems and they, they crawl in and they overwinter inside the stems of the rose. So that's negative because you can see on one of them here you still have a nice healthy stem, uh, maybe a little blackening on the end, but on these guys here we actually have some blackness on the end which could have come from winter damage or it could also have come from uh, the rose cane borers and their larvae going down the length of this and eating out the pith of the rose. So. The, uh, the recommendation from the American Rose Society is to either use an asphalt paint like that or to dab it with Elmer's glue or to use fingernail polish, which I think might be quite stylish, but uh, I don't do it. In fact, I don't do any of those things and I haven't in all the time that I've grown roses. So the question I have for you uh, goes into, have you seen major damage from this? Because from my point of view, I actually haven't. I've grown somewhere in the range between five and 6,000 roses between what I grow here in my field and what I've sold to other people. And I've never seen rose cane borer get much worse than five or six inches and never had a death that I contribute, can attribute to it, never had a, a rose, uh, you know, die that I say that was because of rose cane borer. But that's the feedback I need from you because I don't, from, from what I've seen and from the information I have, these rose cane borers are basically beneficial insects in the garden that have other functions. The, the, they eat aphids, they do other good things in the garden, but they just happen to have a, an overwintering habit that I don't like and causes, in, in my case, minimal damage to my roses. But I want to be open to the fact that in different climates or with different gardens, you may have different experiences. So that's what I'm asking for you from you now. My recommendation as stands is don't seal. Uh, the, the scientific literature says that's, that's not a good move. But uh, I'd like to find out from other people who grow roses, what's your experience? Have you ever lost a rose due to it? Is there, uh, have you seen major damage due to rose cane borer? So uh, please leave that information in below this video.